Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Reviews back with another video and today we're talking about the third beta of iOS 15. In my opinion, this is the best one that has been released until now and it changes a lot of things. So of course it has quite a lot of new features and changes and of course the usual bug fixes and improvements. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at this new update and I will show you guys why I believe this changes everything about something what we thought was really really bad on iOS 15. So we know iOS 15 is not that popular and of course not a lot of people love this update because it doesn't have like big new features but it has some really awesome ones and let me just show you guys a couple of those that are really really cool and these are available on beta 2 as well. So. First of all, if we go to Safari and we go to images, you search something on Google, you don't have to actually go ahead and save the images one by one. All I got to do here is just 3D touch and just drag one of the images that I want to save, drag the other ones, he have three of them, and I can just go ahead and release them right here and save them on the photos app or on the files or any on the notes anywhere I want. That's really, really cool and you can do that with iOS 15. Now another one is also from the Photos app. So let me just find the picture here. So here what I have is an example of a tracking number from FedEx and what you can do here, of course, with any other company, just use basically the live text feature and you can see right here, it will detect this, this is a tracking number and I can go ahead and tap on track shipment directly from there. So what you gotta do in this case is just maybe take a picture of the tracking number or just save it from any photo and iOS 15 knows that that's a tracking number and allows you to track your package. And now let's move back to beta 3, of course, what you're here for. Now, I believe this to be a way better update than beta 2 because of the fixes that it brings and of course the improvements on the UI, it makes a big, big change. Now, first of all, we're moving to settings and you can see here we have now transfer or reset iPhone. Now this is new, of course, it used to be reset iPhone, nice transfer or reset. And here what you have, at the top you have prepare for new iPhone and of course an explanation right there. You tap on get started, it shows you right here pop up where you get extra iCloud storage to move to your new iPhone. You will have the reset button right here, tapping on it, you will get all the settings here to reset the settings, the network settings, keyboard, home screen layout and location and privacy. And if you go here, erase all content and settings, of course, when you want maybe to sell your iPhone, you go here and it shows you what you will erase from this iPhone. So absent data, your Apple ID, and of course, find my activation lock. It is right here, you can tap on it. And of course, it shows you right there an explanation. That of course helps you when you want to get rid of your iPhone or sell it to someone that will be very, very useful. Now going back here, we have also some new settings on the map. Let's just go quickly with this and then I will show you guys a huge change on iOS 15 beta 3. So here we have spoken directions. If you go here, now you will have the settings for spoken directions. So you can pause the podcast, of course, directions, wake iPhone. And of course you have here direct directions on radio. So these are new with the settings of the map app. Now, what I want to talk about and specify in this video is Safari on iOS 15. Now, in my opinion, this is a great update. Now, what it does basically doesn't change that much, but it makes a huge difference. Now, I know Safari has been redesigned and most people hated it. Now, I love iOS 15. I think it's a great update even though it lacks big features, but I think Safari was terrible as well. But with the changes that Apple made with Beta 3, it changes everything and I really, really like Safari. Now, if you don't have Beta 3 and if you didn't use, actually, if you don't have iOS 15 Beta and didn't use Safari, you will not understand what I'm talking about. If you use Safari on iOS 15 and use it on beta three, you will see this right here. What big difference this will make. I know if you didn't use it on daily basis, this probably will seem something very minor, but it makes a huge change when using Safari. Now you will have the address bar right here and it won't just jump to the top. That was really like, just like being 
your iPhone is glitching all the time. That's what it looked like. Now it's much, much better. And you can see right here, if I just try to search for Apple, you can see what it does here. It shows me right there like the favorites or it shows me suggestions. I don't know whatever that is with that little icon with the stars right there. Then you will have the option to Google search and then you will have the option on this page. So you can go ahead and search on that page directly from here and you can see a total new design right here. Now what you can do here is also 3D touch on the address bar and you will be able to reload the website from there and if you just go ahead and open a new tab and try to actually open like in this case I want to open apple.com you can see right there at the top I will have the tab already open in the background and I can just go ahead jump on it and it will open it back which is really really awesome now let's move on to the other new features you will be able to find on iOS 15 beta 3 and this one on the find my app now you will have quick actions here if you 3 touch that plus button you will get three different actions so you can share your location add air tag or add other items directly from here just a quick way to perform those actions directly from the item section right here on the find my app Another pretty nice change when you go right here to the text, you can see that little icon basically lets you insert text from camera. But that has been changed because it was here before, but it used to say insert text from camera and it was quite a long text and now it has just been replaced with that little icon. Something I really like on iOS 15 beta 3 is the redesign that we get on the notifications. You can see we have now a clear and an options button right there. So this actually used to be just one button. Now we have them separated into two and I really like that design much, much better. Now let's go to the settings here and we have some new things right here under the focus settings. So if you go here, go to one of the focuses, you can see we have new glyphs which are really cool and they look much, much better now. And if you go to like, let's say here, let's go to driving, for example, if we go to focus status, you can see that now it shows you here an explanation of what actually focus status will do. And of course, how it shares your status with other people. Now, if we go here and go with customization so let me just find customization here so here we have home screen you can see that now you will have the option to actually hide notification badges from the home screen of your device now previously we had just the home screen layout here now we also have notification badges a big change also on the music widget now the music widget will be colorized based on the color of the album art of the song you're listening to so here we have tupac and you can see it is now playing it says now playing and of course it will also say pause when you pause it but you will see this right here it basically changes colors based on the album art of the song that you're listening to and it makes it look much much better and of course look much cleaner on the home screen of your device Another change on the weather app, if you tap on the lines right here to go to the cities, you will see a pretty cool animation right here when going in and out. Previously, it used just to move right to the cities list right here or just right to the list to the city view, but now it has that little cool animation. And now on iOS 15, you will be able to set background sounds using shortcuts. So there is this new action on the shortcuts app on iOS 15 beta 3 that now will let you set background sound. So you can see right there, you can go ahead and turn it on now using the shortcuts app. So that's pretty much it for this video guys. This is iOS 15 beta 3 in my opinion, way better than beta 2. And of course the improvements on Safari will make a big change and of course will change the way you use Safari from now on because with the first two betas it was just terrible. So that's pretty much it for this video guys. Thank you for watching. Go ahead and subscribe for more and I'll see you on the next one.